guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I have an exciting video to share with you guys with an update from The Good and the Beautiful releasing the brand new math course from Simply Good and Beautiful Math, Math 8. It is available now and I am so thrilled to share this news with you guys if you haven't heard it already. And I wanna thank The Good and the Beautiful for partnering with me on today's video. So if you guys know, I have been using their math program with my youngest daughter since the um, end of her second grade year. Now, I get asked all the time, why didn't I use it with my older kids um, but prior to my youngest daughter? And the reason for that is because the levels simply weren't available um, when I needed them. So my youngest daughter has been with The Good and the Beautiful for math since um, her second and third grade school year. And now here we are finishing up Simply Good and Beautiful level seven. That is the math she's been doing this year and she is doing phenomenally well. So I have seen how the math program builds and really just brings your child to a wonderful understanding of math without tears and frustration. And for many, many years, I've shared this in other videos uh, in the past with my older kids, math was our subject that was a pain point in our homeschool until I found uh, the programs that work the best and not only work the best, but are challenging enough, um, but have enough review built in and are easy for me to teach as a homeschooling mom who's had four kids that I was teaching all at once. So I can give you guys my personal testimony with my daughter. Math has never been a tearful subject with her, and I am so thankful for that because I can't say the same for my oldest daughter. Math was very frustrating with my oldest daughter for a few years, and um, I've never had that experience with my youngest daughter. She absolutely loves her math program. She thrives with it. It is so incredibly done. And Math 8, which is their pre-algebra course, is now available for all of you moms who have kids that are younger than mine coming up, or if you're like me and you've been in Math 7 this year and wondering, is Math 8 gonna be available for my next school year? I can let you know now that you can take a deep breath, it is available. So some things to know about Simply Good and Beautiful Math, Math 8, which are very, very similar to Level 7, which is the level my daughter is in currently, is that the course is broken up into four uh, units. So this would be Unit 1, then you would have Unit 2, 3, and 4. That divides your lessons up into 30 lessons per book. And I love this because it makes the book manageable for your child to work with. It makes the book easy to transport um, as opposed to something this size if it was all together. Um, and it's just, it's a great way to make sure that you're staying on top of your lessons. If you think about it, uh, your homeschool year can be broken into quarters. And so if you're finishing a unit a quarter, then you're gonna get through all four in one school year. And you don't really have to do um, a ton of planning to stay on track. Just try to finish one um, in that time frame. So that's just something that I love about it. But mostly it's just great because the book isn't daunting. It's not massive. If your child needs to refer back to something like a previous lesson, it's easy for them to navigate because they're not going through 120 lessons. So that is how the pre-algebra course is broken up and I love that aspect of it. Along with that is the, as you can see, colorful pages um, that are engaging, that have images and um, you know, they're, they're broken up in a way that is pleasing to the eye and just the book is not just a black and white textbook, which I truly appreciate, especially for the old, the higher level maths. Many curriculums just go completely black and white. There's no color or grouping that break up the lessons and that's just very nice visually. Another thing that is wonderful about the pre-algebra course, which is Math 8, 
which is the same as math seven, is this book right here. This is the answer to every homeschool mom's prayer because it has the answers and solutions worked out. So if your child does not get a problem correct and you may not be familiar with everything that they are learning because it's been a very long time or you can't remember exactly how to solve it or you can't remember the steps in which to solve it, this this uh, answers and solutions guide is going to show you every single problem worked out. So you can show them this is what you needed to do. You needed to do this and they can visually see how the problem needs to be solved. This is a game changer because even with other math programs for the higher level maths, sometimes they'll just get a problem wrong and it'll prompt them to go back to a lesson where the concept was taught, but it's not going to show them exactly how to work out that math problem. And so that is something that really sets apart uh, Simply Good and Beautiful math from other math programs, even other math programs for high school that I enjoy. So that is something that is incredible. It's it that is the game changer right there. Along with that um, answers guide, your child has the option to use the video lesson or to read the lesson. So you have that option to decide either one works well. Every lesson has built-in review and is taught with the spiral method so your child is coming back to previous math concepts so that those things are not forgotten. So the way that a math lesson works for us in our homeschool using Simply Good and the Beautiful Math. So I wanted to take a second and talk with you guys about math. Um, my daughter is getting ready to start on her math. She's in the seventh grade and we are using Simply Good and Beautiful Math 7. She is in book three, um, which is lesson 61 through 90. They broke up the course book into four um, chunks basically. So essentially one per quarter or however you like to break it up. But um, th that way the book is not gigantic. So I really like that. Um, they just released Math 8, which is their uh, pre-algebra course. Although there are um, pre-algebra concepts in here, if you want your child to do like a dedicated pre-algebra course, they now offer that with Math 8. We have been using Simply Good and the Beautiful Math with her since the third grade, I believe, when they finally had a level that was released in time for her grade level and her ability level. So she's been doing this math since level three. So three, four, five, six, and now seven. And I just, we just love it. I can't begin to tell you guys how great it's been for us. Um, math was such a pain point with my oldest daughter who's getting ready to graduate and we tried so many different things. Um, lots of tears, lots of frustration. And with my youngest daughter, it's just been an entirely different experience getting her up to this point. And it's, it's been really, really wonderful. Um, so I wanted to share that with you guys. So basically what she does, let's see what lesson she's on. So she is on lesson 72. Um, so there's like a little warm up section that she does and then she watches the video from their app on there. But if you wanted to teach it without a video, you do get that option too. And um, then they have their practice once they've gone through their video, which is practicing what they do. And that is usually, you know, like a front and a back. And then every day they have a review section that will have a different number of problems to go back. And the workload is so manageable. It's literally between 30 and 45 minutes. And uh, when she's done, she hands it right over to me. And then I have my answers and solutions guide, which they show exactly how to work out the problems. And that is incredible. And so I'll check it, give her immediate feedback, identify anything that was wrong, and then she can fix it while it's fresh in her mind. Um, they do have end of the book assessments in each of them. 
and it's just been amazing. So if you guys are looking for math for next year, I highly recommend the Good and the Beautiful's math and they do have Math 8, which is available now. So I'll put the link for that down in the description. And do her warm-up section. That's at the top of the um, lesson that she's on for the day, and it's just a way to get your brain kind of thinking mathematically. Then my daughter will go ahead and watch the video. I have her watch the video. They explain in the video whatever they're learning for that day. Then there is a practice section, which is very manageable. It is not hundreds of daunting problems. It's a very manageable section for practice of the concept that they they just learned that day. And then there is a review section to the lesson each and every day. And the number of problems on that vary depending on the lesson, but it's all review. So it's something that my daughter generally gets through fairly quickly. Then she go ahead and hands me over her math book. I check every single math problem using that answers and solutions guide and give her immediate feedback so that way we are able to identify if there is something she needs to work on. And that is that has worked so well for her and really, really helped with math being a subject that she enjoys that is not filled with tears and frustration. In Simply Good and Beautiful Math Level 8, as well as in Level 7, there are um, end of unit assessments. So you can make sure that your child understands and has those math concepts down before you move on to the uh, next book. There's a, a full review and then the assessment. And I love that in each and every book. So you guys, if you want to see some of the older videos I have of her using um, Simply Good and Beautiful Math in three, level three, level four, level five. Those videos live on my channel forever, but I am so excited to share with you guys about Math 8 because we need more resources that are incredible for those older homeschooled kids. I want to also draw your attention to another really great thing that uh, the Good and the Beautiful has put out with regards to math. If you go onto their website, which I will link to down below, there is a math kind of track that the Good and the Beautiful has um, created that shows you an advanced track, what would be considered advanced for math, and then what would be considered, you know, grade level, and then what would be considered more remedial. So if you're wondering, what level should they kind of be in what grade if I have a child that is advanced? What might that math course look like for them? Or if you've got a child who struggles, what could I do um, for each school year that would kind of help them with that? The Good and the Beautiful created a really helpful tool to show you guys what levels would work for each of those scenarios. And it also helps for you guys who have those younger kids for planning for the future. So check that out. But I will link to Simply Good and the Beautiful Math Level 8 down in the description box of this video. You guys, I would go ahead and order it now um, and just have it ready to go for your next school year. I am so, so, so happy that this is finally available and I am thrilled for my daughter because she is just excelling in math and enjoying it. And like I said, it's not a frustrating subject for her and I, which has been absolutely incredible. So definitely check out all of the Good and the Beautiful's math on their website, but I will link to Math 8 down in the description box. So I hope that this video was helpful and informative. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I will do my best to get back to you guys. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and I will see you all in my next video really soon. Bye.